I'm shocked. <laughs> You're not really shocked, are you? No. <laughs> because I saw, I knew you were looking at me <laughs> the first time I stood yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I thought that the message was by not calling me up that that topic is done. Nothing ever has to come to an end as long as it's of interest to you. Mm -hmm. Well, everything uh, has become a bit clearer, I guess, since I've been here today. Um, well, we've been all after it. Sorry? We've been all after it. Okay. In other words, there's a strong asking in this room. You are a unique and powerful body of consciousness. You are. Well, so we're on this journey together, and uh, and it has an end, and we know that. What has an end? The journey of life. Not that again. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, you are going to croak. <laughs> yeah, right. So is everybody else. Right. So is everybody else, and so many people are standing in dread of that that they don't make now decisions most people are so afraid to die they don't let themselves live right. because they've forgotten that they are eternal the beasts of your planet are here to soften that for you but you don't let it the cat says i'm gonna make a point runs out in front of a car you freak out you freak out and the cat is thinking well i knew you loved me but i didn't expect you to take it this hard I'll be right back. 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 I'll be right back because I'm infinite. Yeah, and and the more I just sit and listen, the more I feel soothed about that. Um, but well, do you hear us when we say, when you have a thought that is uncomfortable? that it means one really emphatic thing source energy does not agree with you so what's the most uncomfortable thought you have about death just rip the band-aid off um, what is it well that it's coming too soon <laughs> time shortage consciousness yeah earlier when you sat down and you said what'd you say you said you were shocked and we said are you really so we're going to say the same thing about this subject. The other day, yes, she writes with Jerry, her dearly not so departed, not even close to departed, <laughs> friskier than ever. So she's writing with him and she's saying one night, I'm lonesome, I'm lonely. She writes like she's writing a letter and then she receives the answer like she's receiving a letter. That's the easiest way for them to communicate. And she received, are you lonesome? lonely or bored Nestor thought as she's tasting the atmosphere oh yeah I'm bored it wasn't lonely it was bored and then she thought if bored is on one end of the stick what's on the other end interest and so same kind of thing is happening here you say it seems like it's coming too soon is it that does it feel like it's coming too soon or is it that you want to be focused is it really time shortage consciousness or is it just wanting to receive as much now 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 and so is it about alignment shortage rather than time shortage is it about clarity shortage rather than time shortage that's what it is isn't it you know what you crave ah you crave alignment you crave wholeness you crave wisdom and guidance in the moment you crave moments of just off the charts love and appreciation you're not worried about running out of time do you know why you're ornery when you're ornery do you know why you're ornery when you're ornery oh and we like it when you're ornery and you know why we like it when you're ornery you know why we like it when you throw that fit because at every level of your being you know something is screwy right now because at very deep levels you know your power and your clarity and your wholeness and your foreverness in the day Jerry wrote the first note to Esther he signed it your ever loving Jerry ever loving he didn't even know how ever loving he was going to be 
ever loving ever loving always forever and so when you look at it like that you're not worried about not having enough time in the future you're throwing a fit because you're not letting yourself be all that you really are right now and there's a part of you that knows that and craves that and wants that that's why when somebody acts like a oh, we're picking up words from all around the room <laughs> like that when somebody acts like that you're mad at them because it feels to you that they're the reason that you feel like this and you really don't want to feel like this and so that's why it's so easy to get mad at people or situations or stuff because you crave alignment and so we've been saying to you for a long time and we know you've picked up on this that sometimes people will say oh, is it normal when you start meditating for life to get rougher for a while and we say yes because once you taste alignment nothing else is okay with you you can't experience alignment and then not have alignment without throwing a fit now that you know what alignment tastes like there's no regression you can't go back from all that you are helpful that's helpful yes we're glad